that. It is clear from the discussions we have had today that we have a problem. And it is clear that we have some of the most toxic products in the world in our market today. And uh, even from the data presented and, and, and the discussions that 76% uh, in terms of volume, not in terms of active ingredients, but in terms of volume of all uh, pesticides used in Kenya are classified as HHPs. And out of, uh, out of the pesticide we use, 44% would not have been used in the EU. So we, we have a problem. And I think it's clear that uh, even from uh, the discussions in the room and, uh, uh, and the presentations that we really need to, uh, to put an end to this double standard. I think if it is not safe in the EU, it cannot be safe here. Whatever you want to discuss about which approach they use, whether it's hazard-based or risk-based, if it is not safe for a human being in the EU, it is not safe for a human being in Kisi and uh, in Chwele, uh, where this uh, gentleman was presenting with the correct pronunciation of the Western uh, regions. So, the level of misuse and mishandling, as has been discussed, is clear that it's very high. That people are basically toying around with these pesticides out there. And we agree, we all agree that there's a problem in terms of how producers interact and use these products. We have moved over the last 15 years. I'm quite young, as I think some of you can visibly tell. But uh, when I was a small boy, we used to refer to pesticides as sumo. True or false? But today we refer to them as what? Dawa. When you call something dawa, what does it do to you? It desensitizes you. That now farmers are looking at pesticides not as poison. And I think people who are translating Swahili are doing as, uh, you know, uh, very bad. The service. When you translate pesticide, which means poison for pest, to dawa, which means medicine, you know, it's like someone goes to the, to the, to the shop and says, Nataka dawa ya panya. Is, is your rat sick? You know. Because you're desensitizing the public that this is not poison, this is medicine. It is not medicine. Let our people know the truth that the products that they are dealing with are poisons. And I think that becomes the conversation now when, Dr. when you're talking about awareness. I think it's very important that all of us are engaged in these conversations. It is not a responsibility of PCPB alone, but can we do the awareness correctly? Can we have that movement changing from dawa back to sumu, start from PCPB, so that people can understand that it's poison, it is not medicine. For most Kenyans, our farms are our homes. There are no adequate measures to protect a majority of rural populations that are constantly exposed to pesticides in the air, in the water they drink, and the food they eat. It is basically everywhere in the rural areas. Whether you are just walking around, you'll, someone is praying during the day without any consideration of the buffer and everything, you, people are basically exposed um, uh, because we live in those, in those farms. There is no way of avoiding exposure to consumers who have no guarantee whatsoever of the quality and safety of their food and who has grown it and how they have grown it. Farmers are also constantly exposed to all manner of risks due to inadequate awareness and knowledge when they use pesticides. And of course, because they are referring to them as dawa instead of sum. They have to hold their mandate and their responsibility to a high standard and they have to act urgently. As we have said, it cannot take four years or three years to, to review uh, four active ingredients and take action on them. I think it's important that we put the urgency of these issues uh, where it's supposed to be. So. Um, I really want to urge that there is acceleration on that front. The new government must also realize that this is a situation where, you know, this, uh, the old men said, because if you do not address, as, as, as Dr. Mokaya has said, uh, who is a very good friend of mine, despite the age difference, uh, but Dr. has said, if you do not address these issues, then you see them in the health, uh, appearing in the healthcare system. And we do not want that because it is more costly to deal with them, so we better deal with the issues that are there. And we want to encourage that we need to have conversations. There is a need for the government to actually invest in ensuring uh, that consumers are safe and that uh, the issues that are there should be arrested.